In this video, we're going to talk about the point-slope form of a line. But first, let's review that we have seen two forms of a line so far. The standard form, these are forms that look like ax plus by equals c. Here's an example. You notice that the x and y are on the same side of the equal sign, and usually the coefficients are integers for the standard form. The slope-intercept form of a line, this is our y equals mx plus b. Here's our, our example y equals 3x minus 5, and we like this form because it gives us a lot of information about the line. The coefficient of x is our slope, and that would be 3, and then the b, the constant, negative 5, is our y-intercept. So we know that our, that our line has, goes through the point 0, negative 5, and once you have one point and the slope of the line, you can pretty much graph the line. So let's just review that. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and graph the y-intercept on the y-axis, 0, negative 5. And then our slope, we're going to turn that into a fraction. We're going to put a 1 under the 3. And that tells us we're going to go up 3 and over 1. And up 3 and over 1. Of course, I'm doing this a little rough here. I don't have a grid, but then join your points and that gives you your line. So slope-intercept form is, is a useful form of the line. Now today we're going to talk about point-slope form. And point-slope form is used when we know the slope of the line and at least one point on the line. So sometimes all the information you have about the line is the slope and one of the points and it may not be the y-intercept. So that's when point slope form is a good form to use. So here's the general form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y1 and x1, x1, y1 is an order pair that's given to you, and m, of course, is the slope. So let's look at an example. It says use the labeled point to write a point slope form for the line. So our label point is the point negative 1, negative 2. And we're going to, um, that's going to be our x1, y1. So you may find it helpful to label, put the x1 and the y1 right over each number so you know which one's which. And now, of course, we need to find the slope of this line so that we can use point-slope form. So that we're going to count. And you want to look at another point on the line that lies easily to, easy to count. And so I'm going to take this other point. And we're going to go, let's see, that's, we're going to go up 2, up 2, and we're going to go to the left, 1, 2, 3 units, and that gets us to this x-intercept over here. So up 2 is a positive 2 over left 3 is a negative 3, and of course a positive 2 divided by a negative 3 is negative 2 thirds. So now we're going to substitute straight into our point slope form. Here is our um, point slope form, general form. And remember, y and x in this formula are variable, so you're not going to substitute points in there, but you're going to keep those as part of your equation. So y minus y1, and our y1 is negative 2, equals m, and our m is negative 2 thirds, times x, x is our variable, minus x1, and x1 is negative 1. So this is a point-slope form for the line. Now, point-slope form for the line is not unique to our line, and you'll see that as we go along, but here I'm just going to Simplify a little bit more by making these two negative negatives change those into a plus. Okay, so point slope form of a line. Okay, we're going to practice some more. We're going to find a, a point slope form for the line that satisfies the stated conditions. We're, this time we're given the slope, which is negative 3, and we know that our line passes through the point 1, negative 2. So that 1, negative 2, of course, is our x1, y1, so we're going to label that. And let's substitute right into our point-slope form. So y minus y1, which is negative 2, equals m, our m is negative 3, times x minus 
x1, which is 1. So y plus 2 is equal to negative 3x minus 1. So that's a point slope form for that line. Okay, this time our slope is a fraction. Our slope m is negative 1 half. And x1, y1 is the point negative 5, 3. So again, we're going to substitute straight into our point slope form. y minus y1, which is 3, equals m, which is negative 1 half, times x minus x1. And x1 is the number negative 5. So y minus 3 is equal to negative 1 half. And you can put x plus 5 here. And that's our points of slope form. In the next example, we're not given the slope. We're given that the line passes through these two points, 3, negative 1, and 1, negative 4. So we're going to have to compute the slope first by using our slope formula. And if you remember, the slope formula says take the difference of the y values over the difference of the x values. So we're going to label our points, x1, y1, x2, y2. These could be labeled in any order, but I just went in order that they were given. Then I'm going to substitute y2 minus y1, so negative 4 minus a negative 1, over x2 minus x1, which is 1 minus 3. We want to simplify that, so of course we have subtracting, we're subtracting a negative here, which as you know, is the same thing as adding the opposite or adding a positive. So negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3, and 1 minus 3 is negative 2. And here we're dividing two negatives, which you know that reduces to a positive. So our slope is positive 3 halves. Now to write a point slope form of the line, we could really use either the 3 negative 1 or the 1 negative 4 as our point. But we're, I'm just going to go ahead and use the first one and substitute straight in. Okay, so this is why they, we say that a point slope form is not unique because if I'd used the 1, negative 4, I would have gotten a different form of the line for slope, point slope form. All right, in this problem, we're going to find the slope intercept form for the line that's perpendicular to this line, y equals negative 1 half x plus 3, and that passes through the point 6, negative 3. So in order to do that, as you know, we need to find the slope of our line. So we're going to look first at the slope of the given line, which is negative 1 half. And so the perpendicular slope is the opposite reciprocal of negative 1 half. So it's going to be positive. And when you take the reciprocal of 1 half, you get 2 over 1. So positive 2 over 1, or 2, is the slope of the perpendicular line, which is the line that we're trying to look for. So now we have our m, m equals 2, and we were given the point 6, negative 3. So this is going to be our x1, y1. And now we're going to substitute into point slope form. y minus y1, or y minus negative 3, equals 2 times x minus 6. And so, but we're not done because we need the slope intercept form, don't we? So we're going to solve for x. So first, let's change those two negatives to a plus 3. And now we're going to have to distribute this 2. So y plus 3 equals 2x minus 12. And we're solving for y, so we're going to subtract 3 from both sides. So that gives us y equals 2x minus 15, which is the slope-intercept form. That form is unique. And also it helps us because it helps us graph. We know the slope and the y-intercept, so we could graph this line easily.